The northwest corner of Brooklyn Park is home to one of the largest radio controlled model aeronautics clubs in the Midwest. But as Delane Cleveland reports, questions remain about where the group will fly in the future. It's more than than a hobby. It's a, it's a community. On a large open field along Highway 169. When you want the airplane to go up, you pull back on the stick, just like in a real airplane, okay? Charlie Skalbach has found a second home. Ready? Yep. Taking off. At least five days a week. Nice takeoff. You'll find this former commercial airline pilot passing along his love of aviation using radio-controlled model airplanes. We get a lot of kids right around the 9 to 12-year-old age they come out on Tuesday nights and just want to fly. And we don't charge them, it's all free. We use our own models, and if they crash them, we repair them. Skalbeck is vice president of the Grassfield RC Club. It's the largest such club in Minnesota with 156 members who come here to fly and teach others about the hobby. Yeah, we, we love putting together models. We build models, a lot of guys build and then come out and fly them and then crash them and rebuild them again but it's the camaraderie. Of course, every pilot here, oh, boom, you push down, has to learn a few lessons the hard way. And this is called the walk of shame. Okay, come on. Yet for a club that relies heavily on wide open airspace, it's the land below that could put the future of Grassfield RC in jeopardy. It's very likely that within the year this will be turned into some type of a development. The organization has leased this field since 1985. But Skalbeck says that's likely the landowner will sell the property to developers. Now he's begun the process of looking for an alternate site. All we can do is try. We are going to work very hard and it takes a lot of tenacity. The same type of tenacity to get back in the air after taking a huge nosedive. Part of the hobby, That's especially when you're learning. In Brooklyn Park, Delane Cleveland, CCX News. The club has already been in contact with the city of Brooklyn Park to help find a new site. They're also exploring options with Hennepin County and Three Rivers Park District. Hennepin Technical College celebrated their 50th anniversary this week. To talk about this milestone, we brought in academic Dean Allison Lights for today's Newsmakers. It's a really big deal and we're so excited to be celebrating with our um, communities. Our big kickoff uh, event is to have a tree planting on campus on September 20th and um, everyone in the community is invited to join us. And we're gonna have big activities throughout the entire year that will all be posted both on our social media and on our website. All right, and you brought some photos to share with us, so we're yeah. going to take um, a walk down memory lane, I guess you could say. So I want you to provide a little bit of perspective. These are from the 1970s, starting with the groundbreaking, where it all started. Yeah, so we, we 50 years ago, it's crazy to think about, um, but 13 different independent school districts all came together with an innovative and creative idea to um, pool their resources and have one center for skilled trades uh, training in the community and uh, this picture is one of the founders, Dr. Richard Emery, doing the groundbreaking uh, celebration and he was the superintendent um, when they first opened as a part of the school district. Years later we're now a fully accredited college but um, that focus on skilled trades and workforce development is something that hasn't changed. And one of those programs that you brought in at some point was auto body repair. We've got this great picture of some, a student working on a VW bug. Right? The epitome of the 70s, yes. right? It's iconic and we think that was probably one of the, the students, probably his own vehicle. Um, the uh, difference today is that they're not just looking at the finish, the exterior, pulling out the dents and making sure the paint is impeccable, but now they also have to focus on things like advanced electronics with all of the driver assist cameras on vehicles and things like that that um, come into play when they're doing collision repair. One thing we focus on today is encouraging diverse folks to come into the trades. We have a picture of several women who are working in carpentry, which was probably a big step then. Absolutely, and it's still a focus of ours is trying to continue to encourage uh, women to go into some of those skilled trade areas. But that does appear like it was a class of all women, which is exciting to see. Yeah. We'd, be, we'd love to see that again. All right. Um, next photo really shows us how technology's changed, the auto visual department. Right, so reel to reel. 
like that's been a while, right? <laughs> and now we're focusing on things like advanced 3D graphics and video production, video game production, um, the podcasts and um, sure. videos on social media, things like that. It's, it's They've developed tremendously over really? the years. Really, and there's a lot of interest in that too. Incredibly high interest, yeah. Still is. All right, graphic design students, when we look at this photo, it's hard not to focus on the fashion, all the students in front of campus showing off what they've got. Yeah, and you know what is funny? Like, they've got such great smiles and energy. At, like, the fashion in the hair is fun to look at, but really the sense of community and success that is something that doesn't change throughout the decades that we've been there. And so that's really exciting to see that there still is that common thread that um, permeates throughout our history. Definitely, and how can folks still stay in touch with what's going on on campus? We'll have um, regularly updates and posted events on our website, which is www.hennepintech.edu. All right, Allison Lyons, Academic Dean with Hennepin Tech. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you. Mark your calendars for a special event in Osseo that's right around the corner. I'm really happy to be involved in a small way to make it possible for uh, a young person to participate if they even maybe perhaps can't afford the cost. It's all about building community and it's bringing us together, it's bringing the small town of Osseo. You'll see all different ages that will be here from children to uh, retirees. You'll see a bunch of us that have graduated from here and that's what uh, living and growing up in the small town of Osseo is uh, all about. Home Again will be Wednesday, September 7th at 6 p.m. at Borboom Park in Osseo. The event is free but donations are appreciated and they go to the Osseo cross-country team.